Day three of the September challenge, we are in Philippians chapter one, verses 12 through 18. If you're not part of the September challenge, you can click the link in the profile. You can download the reading plan and jump in, and we're going to try to read the Bible five days a week through the month of September. Here's our morning text. As you can see, we did a little work, and then now we're going to go over here and look at the outline that I made this morning. So the big idea that I got was Paul, he's suffering, but his suffering is actually to advance the gospel. So that's why he can rejoice in it. So notice um, Paul's suffering served to advance the gospel. So the whole Imperial Guard is hearing the gospel and the rest are hearing the gospel. Uh, his imprisonment uh, is for Christ. That's what everybody is coming to the conclusion, all the church. And so not only does it serve to advance the gospel, but Paul's imprisonment strengthens uh, the brothers. So the brothers are becoming confident in the Lord. They're bold to speak without fear. Um, and so here's the brothers thinking, hey, the worst thing can happen to us is we can go to prison. Well, Paul's in prison. He seems to be okay with it. Uh, so it's actually leading to not only uh, is it serving to advance the gospel, strengthen the brothers, but also his imprisonment is causing people to share Jesus. And he actually says some are preaching Christ. For envy, rivalry, selfish ambition, uh, to afflict him, and for pretense. Others out of goodwill and for the sake of truth. And what does Paul say? I rejoice over both because one thing is happening. Christ is being proclaimed. I learned that um, Paul said that he that some people would write about would write about Jesus and preach about Jesus for their own glory and other people would do it out of love for him. Which one do you want to do? Out of love for him. And that is that whatever I go through in suffering, I can use it to proclaim the gospel and I can rejoice that even in my suffering, God's going to use it for his glory. Hopefully you got a big takeaway this morning. Uh, keep pushing September challenge. Read the Bible five days a week. Develop the habit. You got it. I'll see you tomorrow.